Welcome to the third in a series of screencasts from Wabash College on how to download and manipulate data from the internet, specifically IPUM CPS. Today what we're going to do is revise a data extract which we created previously and then download that data and unzip it. Then we'll take a quick look at the data set and that will lead us into the next topic which is selecting only the cases that you're interested in. For example, we'll want to look only at, a, at adults or actually people 15 and above and at a particular state, for example Indiana. I'll show you how to do that in Stata and also in IPUMS where we can go back and revise the data set and select particular cases. So let's get started. We're at uh, IPUMS CPS and let's log in. Go to your data abstracts. Okay, so I'm going to revise, I think, number 49 here. And what I want to do is I want to add a variable. Let's go take a look at our variable list. So we'll view the card. And we've got wage and salary income, education, sex, and age. I've forgotten to include information on the geographical um, area that people are from, specifically which state. So I'm going to go to select data. We'll actually add more variables. And state information is contained in the geographic level for households. And I'm going to use the state FIP. Let's view the cart. And create our data extract. We can describe it. Submit the extract. So now we're going to wait around a little bit while uh, the extract is, is created. While we're waiting, let's take a look at the code book, which will be sitting here under basic. And there's the state codes. State FIP, one is Alabama. 18 is Indiana, 36 is New York, etc. Okay, let's see if our extract has been created. I'm going to hit uh, Control R. Okay, our extract has arrived. Let's uh, download it by clicking on Formatted Data. And notice it comes in as a .gz file. We're going to save the file. Hit, say, hit OK. I'm going to put it on the desktop in a, a folder I created for the special purpose. So here's CPS 051, 51st extract I've created, and it's downloaded. OK, let's go to that folder. Here's the folder, and here's the file. The problem is that I can't open it up because I don't know how to use GZ files. Well, there's a remedy for this, and to do that I better bring in the Start menu here. Seven Zip should be available on the network for you. So here's Seven Zip File Manager, and I'm going to have to navigate to. Uh, to that location. Let's see, desktop. Okay, I've navigated there, and here we go. What I want to do is extract this file. I'm going to put it in the same place. Hit OK. And now it's sitting there. So if I go back to uh, that desktop folder, let's see if I can find it. Here we go. It's created its own folder, and inside there, there is the state of data set. Let's try opening it up. Okay, so now we've got the data. Let's do a quick summary and see what we got. A few things to note. First, the year is automatically included. All these variables, uh, year serial, HWT sup, month, and WT sup, those are automatically included. The one that's not is state FIP. So we've got uh, the years 2012, the serial numbers identify 
observations, we won't be using those. The weights are important, but we won't look at them right now. Um, the state stuff, if we do tab state FIP, let's see what we get. Well, it includes the labels uh, rather than the numbers. So here you go. Obviously, there are a lot more from California, not surprisingly, and a lot more from Florida than, say, from Indiana, uh, because those are much bigger states. And the number of observations from each state will tend to reflect the population of that state. I don't want to view all these, so let me hit break. And let's look at the, let's look at um, education, get a similar. All right, the thing to note here is that there's a bunch of NIU people. NIU means not in the universe. And that means that the question about education wasn't asked to these people. So, so let's go tab age if educ equals equals one. So all of these people are 15 and under, excuse me, f under 15. So that's what we got. And if we take a look and uh, once again at this, that's all 46,751 people. They're all under age, so to speak, for this variable. So what we're going to want to do is drop those people. There we go. We've dropped those 46,751 observations. OK. There's one more thing to do before we close. We're going to ask you in the assignment, if you're at Wabash College, about uh, looking at a particular state. So um, there are two things that one can do. First of all, uh, recall that Indiana is number 18. One thing we could do is type this, keep if state FIP equals equals 18. That would have the effect of dropping almost all the remaining observations. And if we do a summary, we can see that now we've got 2,218 people 15 and above who happen to be in the state of Indiana. Another possibility would be to do what I'm about to explain to you. Let's go back to um, our data sets and we're going to do one more revision. To restrict the sample the way we want it, we need to select cases. So we want to make selections according to state FIP and age. So let's submit that. Uh, at state FIP, we're going to want to say include only Indiana. And at age, we're going to include only people who are, for educational attainment purposes, adults above age of 25. So I'm going to hit shift to select all those things. And so I'm submitting two different uh, case selections. And now I'm ready to do the extract. So that wraps up this screencast. What we've done is shown you how to extract data, how to download it to the desktop and then unzip it, then how to manipulate the data in Stata in order to select only particular observations which meet age and location criteria. We then went back to IPUMS and revised the extract and did essentially the same thing by restricting ourselves to one state and to one age group, those who are adults ages 25 and up. In future screencasts, we'll work on additional status skills. See you then.